Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. So right here we have army men and we have the red, the green and the tan nation. They have all raced to the iron throne. And in today's video, we're going to be seeing which army men nation can take the iron throne. So who is going to take it? Is it going to be the greens? Is it going to be the reds? Or is it going to be the tans? So the reds arrived first under this general over here. This general is like, I want the throne. And then the greens arrived on the right hand side and deployed their army. And their general right here says, I want the throne. And then the Tans did exactly the same. So the Tans have a huge army dug in on the left-hand side of the room. And, uh, yes, yeah, so we've got cannons, we've got tanks, we've got artillery. We've got a shed ton of infantry. We've got some reinforcements, which are going to be coming from the other rooms as well. And in the middle, we have just one tank division, which belongs to the Red Army. Um, they've still got some men outside of the castle. So they're going to be coming in later on in the battle. And then we have the green side of the Iron Throne room. So what do you guys think of this? Anyway, this is the Iron Throne from Game of Thrones, if you're familiar with it. I think we've all heard of Game of Thrones. Um, I've decided to make the... What was the town called? It was the Iron Throne. This is the throne room inside of King's Landing. That's it. This is the um, giant throne room in King's Landing. And like I say, we're going to see which army men nation can take the Iron Throne. So if we go ahead and overview the Greens right now, we've got some artillery on the green side. I've tried to make it very fair, very uh, balanced with numbers. We've got this guy who's got missiles. They've got like a missile thing over there as well. We've got more artillery. We've got some patterned tanks. Uh, we've got loads of riflemen. We're only using riflemen in this mainly. We do have some SMGs as well. We have some artillery back here and we have some more tanks over here. And at the front row of both sides, we have some heavy, heavy uh, anti-air guns. But these things are very effective against light tanks and also against, uh, well, aircraft. Also very good against infantry as well. It blows them to pieces. So anyway, um, this is going to be the first installment of this battle. If you want to see more like this with more crazy maps, be sure to let me know in the comments. And before we start this battle, also check out my merch. I've got brand new merch. I'll get it up right here. Um, so there's going to be a link in the description to that also, or you can check it out at the bottom of this video. So anyway, without further ado, we're going to get straight into this battle. So the question is, which army men nation can take the arm Iron Throne? So this is going to be really cool. So let's press start. It's going to be very laggy at first. I feel sorry for those reds. I think until the lag dies down, we're going to keep pausing it like this, look. So we can clearly see that the greens have started shooting at the reds in the middle. We've got missiles flying through the hair. So actually flying through the hair, flying through the air. And I've never seen that before. I've never actually freeze-framed one of these missiles coming out of this tank. Uh, so that's really cool. Um, on the tan side, we can see that the reds are also getting a beat in from the tan side as well. And that was because the reds, they only bought a tank division. Like I say, though, they are going to be bringing up some more men in the future. So let's press start again. I thought the tanks would like turn their turrets or something. This is crazy, look at this. The Reds did not stand a chance in this battle. Maybe we could do this with some other factions as well in the future. Factions like the Purples, the Blues. I kind of want to test one of these things back here. Let's give them a go. Let's see if we can take control of it. Oh, there we go. Missile away. Let's go see where that lands. I think that's not even going to land on them, is it? Oh, it's a big explosion there. Took out some of the defences on this gun over here. So these are like the Bofors. I think they're a Swedish anti-air gun. Like I say, very effective against pretty much everything. Let's just turn off these silhouettes. I hate how it does that. It automatically turns the silhouettes on. I kind of want to shoot this thing again. These are really cool. Shoot uh, right over. Oh, a bit down. There we go. No. Oh, I missed. Oh, I just blew some of my own men away. God. At least we've got artillery at the back here for the tans as well. And a lot of these mortars. These things have huge explosions on them. The green seems to have a lot of men still. We've got some green soldiers which are going to be coming from the back of the wall here as well. And same on this side. 
And the Green's objective is to take the Tan side, so they're not going to stop until they have taken the whole side that belongs to the Tans. And it's the same for the Tans as well. The Tans are going to have men reinforcing this position every 60 seconds, I believe. We have got some um, old heroes from the Army Men of War series in this battle somewhere. Let's see if we can spot them. Oh, I want to know what happened to those generals. Okay, so the generals didn't last long, they all just shot each other. And there's a beautiful shot of the Iron Throne right there. I tried to model, model it as best as I can on Game of Thrones. Just, and these are the only assets I could really work with. If you guys want to see more like this in the future, let me know what sort of maps that you want me to create. And I'll be sure to give them a go. Greens are now coming out of their trenches and now moving across no man's land. Just like in the series, nobody can take the the uh, the uh, or the Iron Throne. That's it. A throne made of swords. It's getting really laggy. Let's give it a quick pause again and see what's happening. So look at this. We've still got a lot of green soldiers left. I'm not sure if we've lost many greens. I think we've took a hit on the command vehicle. That can't be good. That's where they're giving all their orders from. Uh, we've got everything still intact on this side as well. But the tan seem to be getting a really big beating. Look at that. We've lost a lot of vehicles on the tan side. Apart from this thing. This is the elephant. Um, we have lost its uh, cannon there as well. That's a... Oh no, it's still in action. So the Tans are on defense at the moment. They've got to try and stop the Greens from getting across. Take a shot with this thing. Uh, we rotate that way. Still reloading. They take a while to reload. Get some of you guys. Come on. Get on there. Oh, that tank didn't last long. Yes, we're all trying to take this thing over here. Can the army men take the Iron Throne? I'm doing this in honour of the new Game of Thrones uh, episodes. The new season has just come out. I myself have not started it yet. I like to wait until there's uh, like a few episodes out first and then... Uh, I like to watch one after the other then have a, make a night of it. Big explosion in the middle. Oh, the lag. Oh, he looks really good. A bar rifle. I wonder if the reds are coming into the map yet. Nope, not yet. I think we've still got some red tanks still active over here. Maybe not. No. The reds got sandwiched in the middle. Let's take some shots with the artillery of the greens. Can we have a shot with this? Let's have a look. No, it's been taken out. So the greens are losing a lot of their tanks. At least we've got these artillery pieces over here. Oh, that's been taken out as well. Take a shot over there so we can uh, warn down the tans a little bit. Aim, target coordinates, fire! Let's see where it landed. Oh, I think we got a direct hit on them there. Oh, look at that. These guys are all about to die. Let's let's do a little bet. Tell me. Pause the video. Well, it is paused. Tell me in the comments now. Are these guys going to die? Or are they going to survive? Let's, let's check it out. Nope. Oh, dead. You never know, though. The artillery is really good on this game. Maybe we could try this map again one time and just do artillery on one side and artillery on the other. Here comes the red reinforcements. I 
think the Reds have went for the uh, technique of coming in a little bit later. Letting the Greens and the Tans kill each other off a bit. The, tan the tanks are just getting hit on the way in. This is not good. Okay, that's a good idea. Good idea, tank. Run straight through them. Got a flanking maneuver. No, nope, he needs to keep his front on that gun. It's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow. Oh. This is so cool. Plenty of more towns coming into the map. This is like uh, World War One, very similar to World War One. We've got trenches on either side. We have uh, the center, which is like no man's land. And like I say, the main objective is to take the Iron Throne. Even the army men can't decide on who will be the king of King's Landing. Obviously, to those of you that are like. Wait a minute, this doesn't make sense. You know, this is a completely different episode. It's completely unrelated to the Army Men of War series. Or maybe, maybe we could say that they went through the portals and uh, investigated the Game of Thrones dimension. And that's what they're competing for, the Iron Throne. I think it's definitely a draw at the moment. The greens are the only ones that can get men into no man's land. And we still have a lot of greens left as well. A red machine gunner. He's lost his helmet. Him and one soldier, they're getting sandwiched by tans on that side and greens on this side. Like, watch my back, Vasily. Oh, is that an officer? There's an officer leading the way. Oh, it's so laggy. It's crazy. So hard to control. Yeah, I can't imagine these guys are going to last long. Look at all the bullet holes just, like, going around them. Tans are still holding their own. They're not giving up. The greens are on the offensive. The Tans are on the defensive. I think the red reinforcements have now stopped. And we can see that the reds did have quite the advantage on the tanks. They had a lot of tanks. Here comes the rest of the green army. Oh, this is crazy. Let's see if we can take control of one of these green tanks and drive him across. This guy got some men in. Nope. All the men have got out of it for some reason. You three, get inside. We're going to take this uh, tank across no man's land. See if we can guide some of our greens across to the tans. Look how many greens are in the distance. Looks a bit like uh, Omaha Beach. Oh, he's repairing it. Okay. I see how it is. Shoot some missiles over there. Oh, the greens have got a foothold right here. We could be seeing a green victory here, maybe. Who knows? Plenty of tans still, though. But I did try to do for, go for an equal amount of troops on both sides. I think it was around 50 soldiers every 60 seconds into the map. And that's on both sides. So every 60 seconds through this video, there has been 100 men entering the battlefield. That's how big this battle has been. Officer leading the way. Is the artillery still in play? Nope. Like, we don't need artillery, we have three bazookamen. They all just aim at the same guy at the same time. Maybe, just maybe it'll be the same caliber as that. Who knows? 
officers coming up and it's like, they're coming closer, be ready for them. There's the Iron Throne in the background. This is messy. Maybe, maybe like this is like King Joffrey. Maybe this is what he does in his spare time. Maybe it's like, entertain me. And he uh, sets up his toy soldiers one side. And then he sets some toy soldiers up the other. So let's sit in the seat. This is what it's like to sit in the Iron Throne. And watch two armies fight it out. Tans are now retreating to the columns. So it's taking a lot of artillery. Let's see if we can send one of these patterns forward. There we go. Pattern forward. You go there. Who else have we got? I think that's the only tank they've got left. Let's press pause. Let's see what the damage is. So the greens are currently trying to get across. They've got hundreds of soldiers. They've lost a lot of their uh, cannons though. They're about to lose another one right here. And um, we're going to come back to this one in a moment. We can see that they're coming across no man's land. Um, all over as well. It's like a main focus all over this like battlefield. So um, it's not like they're focusing on one area. Maybe the center a little bit more than others. But uh, at the back here we can see that the Tans still have full control of this side of the throne room. The Iron Throne is still up for grabs over there, look. I would say that the Greens now own the Iron Throne, and then the Tans need to take it back, so who knows, maybe if the Tans go on the defense, the offensive will break and the Tans will have their chance to go on the offensive. But I'm not sure if they're gonna have enough men. I think this column right here has protected the majority of these soldiers right here. They could really do with this tank. Oh no, I missed, I missed it didn't I? Let's see if they're taking it out. Yeah, I think this was the uh... Oh no, the, it survived. I thought it, I thought it would have died from that explosion. There's the explosion right there, the one that went off. Here comes the pattern. It's got one of those cool spinny turrets on the top. Moving across the Iron Throne Room. So who else is excited for Game of Thrones? I might watch I might rewatch all of the older episodes just to try and catch up. That's how long has it been now? Has it been over a year, two years maybe? Since they produced the last lot? This has been some crazy battle. Now the main focus is on the right flank now. Yep, the tens are like, screw this. We're pulling back to the wall. They've run out of cover now. We've got a uh, tan officer over here. Do we still have some tan artillery? I'm not sure. Let's try and get some of these tan soldiers in some of the vehicles. Or maybe you guys get in there. Go on, you can do it. I believe in you. Banzai! Can they do it? No! Oh, one made it. Only the one though. No. He's like, screw this, I'm not getting in there. No, he's decided to repair it. Don't worry lads, I'll just stand out there in front of all of this gunfire and repair a vehicle. The rest of the tans are like, come back, what are you doing? What are you doing, god damn me, no! Oh dear. He tried. Time for effort. And now the greens have fully broke through the tan lines and have secured the throne room. 
Now they're just finishing off what's left of the turns back here. They're like, don't shoot, don't shoot! They're against the wall, they've got nowhere to turn, they've got nowhere to run. And this is definitely a win for the Greens, I think. All they got to do is finish them off. Let's have a look at the damage. The Greens took a lot of damage on their vehicles, I think, as a lot of their tanks are inoperable. But they didn't lose any of their artillery when they could have, because the Tans had a lot more artillery than the Greens did. You can see they had three over there, two there, three more there, and three more over there as well. Yeah, this is a definite win for the Greens. The Greens have secured the Iron Throne. Now it's, uh, maybe we could make like the White Walkers or something and do like a zombie attack on some Green Soldiers. Let me know in the comments. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, uh, do let me know in the comments. I am trying to daily upload again now. Um, and yeah, so let me know the insane maps that you want me to make in the comments and I will try my very best to make them. So anyway, remember um, there's a link to the new merch shop in the description as requested. And also a link to um, my Discord as well. Um, my Discord is more going to be a fan-based Discord from now on. It's, we're going to try and slow down a little bit on the roleplay side of things. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to be doing events and things like that. But me and the admins are definitely going to be trying to take more control of the roleplay in the Discord. And uh, in the next few weeks we plan on doing some really, really cool stuff with you guys. So I'll leave a link to that as well. Um, also, a big thank you to all my Patreons. Uh, you guys really helped me out with uh, get, being able to do this in, like a full-time job. So, I really appreciate that. And, yeah, I will see you all in the next one.